What's up guys? Learning with Rich here in this video. So let us add some uh, detail to our drawing. So we're going to add some 2D elements for us to be able to create some detailed views for our model. Okay, so let's do this. So the first thing that uh, we are going to do is uh, let's create a section. So we'll be doing in this area here of our 0 to floor. So let's create a section here. So I click the section from the quick access toolbar and then from the properties for the type. So make sure detail is selected, detail view, detail. And then we're going to create our section here. Okay, so that's my section. And then you can adjust it something like this. All right. And then after that, um, let's change the name. So from the project browser, so let's right click that and then change the name. This will gonna be our uh, brace uh, typical brace detail. Okay, and then after that, just select enter. Right, and then after that, let's open up that view and let's change the scale here. So for the scale, I'll just use here one and one half inch to one foot and then I'm going to change the detail level here to fine and let us adjust the crop region here so I'll just move it like that and then let me adjust my view like this okay and something like this okay right and then after that, so we are now going to add some to the elements. So by the way, let's hide our crop region first. So hide the crop region. There you go. And then let us add some uh, to the elements here. So from the annotate tab, I'm going to use a detail line here. So for the detail line, for the line style, so I will be using medium lines. So I will select this. And then after that, I'm going to create line here. So I'll just create from here to here. Okay. And then after that, I'll just create another one here to here. Okay. So something like that. And then after that, let's mirror this. Uh, two lines here so maybe to create the mirror let's create first our reference plane and then later that we are gonna delete that one okay so just perpendiculars and then let's select these two lines here and then then let's use mirror peak axis just click that and then let's mirror this using this as our mirror line and there you go Right, and then after that, let's delete this. We don't need that anymore. And then that's it. So we just need to add some uh, detail to our model. Okay, so to add some detail, so from the annotate tab again, I'll be selecting here the symbol. So let's select the symbol. And then for the type, so I'm gonna select the weld symbol both. And then I'm gonna place it somewhere here. And then after that, modify. Right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the value for my uh, detail here. So for the weld, so that's my 3 over 8. And same here below. So 3 over 8. Then after that here, I'll just put a period. I don't like 0. So just period there. And then we're going to add some leader line here. So let's click our symbol. And then let's add a leader line so we can use that to point to the location of the weld approximately. So let's say I'll just put it somewhere here like that. Okay, and then let's add another uh, symbol. So let's click this. I'm going to put it here. So let's say uh, this will going to be my one fourth. So one fourth. Uh, one for it and then uh, from the properties of this symbol so I'm gonna 
tick the weld all around symbol so let's click that tick then apply there you go and then let's add leader line as well so let's click this let's add couple of detail lines one and then add another one two okay and then let's move our arrow so for the first arrow so let's say it's here second arrow I'm gonna put it here so maybe I'll move it there okay there you go so after you add the symbol the next thing that we'll be doing let's add some text so I'll select the text tool or you can also select it from the quick access toolbar just click that and then let's uh, use this one segment type of text click that so I'm gonna put it here I'm gonna put it. okay and then that's my uh, three eight of an inch PL there you go all right so that's now our typical brace detail. So basically in this video, we have learned how to insert some of the weld symbol and then how to use our detail lines and also how to place our text. Okay, so these are just 2D elements. So you will only see these elements or these 2D elements only in this view. So if you go to other view, of course, you will not be able to see these lines there because these are just to the elements so same with your uh, symbols and text all right so thank you for watching guys have a nice day